But to say a little bit about why I love to celebrate the Sabbats. <laughs> I honestly, I glanced up there to think, what am I going to say next? And I just saw the beautiful crescent moon in the sky. And that's one of the reasons the turning points of the year and the ones I love most are the solstices and equinoxes. For me, it's enough to celebrate for a year. They're reminders to be in touch with Mother Nature, the stars, the earth. Of course, in the summer, I'll be outside and in the winter around my fire, depending, of course, where I am in the world. But for me, it's a time to, where possible, to gather with friends and celebrate, but mostly to go inside and, and, and think about the time gone, the time come, to remember where I am on my life path, to check that I'm on course. And I've learned to love to share those moments with the people in my life at the time. So whether I'm traveling or we're able to meet in person and I'm here at home in Scotland, I usually have something on around the house or at one of the sacred sites. And when that's not possible on Zoom. So when, when quite often people ask me, what's about, do I have to speak? It's nothing, I usually, guide through a meditation that I've written for that time. We chat, maybe share, but there's no have to's. You can sit quietly if you wish to and um, then lie down and have a really wonderful relaxation that I'll have again written for this astrological turning point in the year. So if you'd like to join us next time, you can join in person, online, or ask me for the recordings and the little PDF that I put together explaining the rituals. If you'd like to participate alone, 